this video, I'm going to talk about one of the tool within XRM toolbox called as metadata document generator. Now, metadata document generator is a tool to generate either Excel or a Word document with entities or tables and attributes information. Now, this tool has been built by MS CRM tools. The output format which this application generates is either Excel document or a Word document. Now, what does that Excel or Word document contains? It basically contains information about the table, information about the columns and properties of that particular column. Now, the application has an ability to filter out the column data to be displayed depending on various parameters. Now, it has an ability to select one or more entity to render the content within the application. Now, you can also generate content in multilingual depending on the languages installed for that environment. So take, for example, if you have an environment which has, say, uh, Hindi or Spanish or a French language installed, then you can utilize those language capability to generate the document with that specific language. This is how the document or uh, the application basically looks like the metadata document generator. So first thing what you need to do is like you need to load the entities. You can load the entities from the solution. Once you load the entities, you can select the document format, what option you want, either Word doc or an Excel doc, and then select the corresponding table within that solution. Once you select the table name and the corresponding attributes, then you can generate the document. Now, while selecting, there are options like either you can select all the attributes, all attribute content within a form, all attribute not content in the form, option set, boolean state, selected attributes, unmanaged attributes. So there are a whole bunch of things which you can uh, generate. And now once you do that, then you get a uh, document in the form of Microsoft Word, if you select Microsoft Word, and then this will list down all the metadata and the attribute. Now the metadata will have a display name, a plural display name, schema name, logical name, and it will also sh show you various attribute type, description, required level, uh, etc. Now this is important if you want to uh, store the information of the application or if it, this can be helpful when uh, your application uh, gets audited within your environment. And so, and also it acts as like a documentation for uh, comparison between various environments. So this particular application will help uh, you in generating those documents required for uh, comparison or auditing or just for compliance purposes. Similarly, you can have an Excel output. So Excel will show the information in a tab. So first tab would be a table uh, related uh, details and second tab will be like column related. Now I'm showing you column related uh, table over here. So this is how you basically generate the Excel output. Now let me uh, show you an, another uh, uh, screen whereby you can also generate multilingual Excel output. So I've selected Hindi. Uh, as uh, one of the output parameters and then it has generated the uh, the document generator metadata uh, in uh, Hindi language. Now let me show you in action. So I'll navigate to the XRM toolbox. So if I go to tool, uh, I need to check uh, metadata document generator. So metadata document generator. So if it says, do you want to connect to the organization first? I'll say yes. I'll connect to one of the environment. Now here, once you connect to the environment, it will ask you to load the entity. So I can load the entities or I can load entities from solution. So I'll load entities from solution. So I have various solutions within my environment. So there's one solution called as world solution, which has three tables in it. So I'll select that world solution. And within that world solution, it will have accounts, contact, and world. So let me just select the world, which is a custom table, which I have built. Now the document format, which I want is Word document. File path, I need to select the file path where I need to uh, store. So I'll say uh, world metadata, because this is gonna generate uh, the metadata for the world table and some docx format. I'll just click on save. Now language i can select english united states so for this i'll just generate using english generate for all attributes so i want all attributes or all attributes contained within a form 
or not content in a form option set boolean state and status selected attribute unmanaged attribute so various things i can uh, generate the attribute for let me uh, select all attribute and i can even search by display name or schema name now below there are options which can include audit information include field level security information if it exists include requirement level information include valid for advanced find information include attribute location and forms and exclude virtual attributes so i can select various options and there are a couple of options which are only available for excel like gather entities list in a summary and export all attributes in one sheet now once you're done with this once you do all the selection then there is an option to generate the document so i'll just click on generate document and it will generate the document and then it will ask you do you want to open the generated document i'll say okay yes so i'll open this in microsoft word and now here for that world table i have this section created like entity world and from here i have metadata and from metadata i can see if, and there are various attributes so it is the document is basically structured in this form and then if you select the metadata here you will see the display name description schema name logical name object type code um, whether it's a custom entity yes it is a custom entity and whether how it is owned it is owned by the user from an attribute perspective i can see various things so let me unzoom this a bit here i can see various columns the logical name schema name display name attribute type and the description basically if you have put any sort of description for that specific column here you will see those then whether it is a custom column whether it is uh, a type what is a type whether it is a simple type simple type or whether it is uh, a various complex type so you can see all this information over here from a required level perspective you will see whether it is application required or business required or none and then audit enabled whether that field has audit enabled or whether it is secured or uh, like from a uh, security perspective so all those information is uh, will be displayed over here so this is a nice piece of information for your audit perspective now going back to the app <coughs> this time i'm going to generate something from contact or maybe i can select multiple entities so i'll select contact and account but this time the language i'm going to select is say french now account contact i've selected and generate for i'd just say just only generate option set boolean state and status attribute it says if you change selection type all previous selected attributes or forms will be cleared i'll say okay and i'll just keep a couple of settings like this and document format i'll select excel this time okay and the file path i will say <coughs> french contacts accounts so i've selected two tables language is french and i'll just generate for options at boolean state and status attribute once i'm good with this i'll just click on generate document it will start generating the excel document and it will ask you to open the generate document i'll say open it and it will open in excel now if you see over here entities list uh, entity over here it has generated a couple of entities uh, contact and accounts and here is given the description so you can see schema name audit name description display collection name and whole bunch of information which are related to the metadata for that particular table so you can see all this information listed in this one big row now metadata if you navigate to the metadata here you will see the entity logical name schema name display name as you see here display name has come in french and the description has also come in french so you can see various attribute type choices two options so this is not showing you all the columns but then it is just showing you choices column as you see over here and status column so those all information can be easily rendered and if you see the column over here uh, it talks about additional data what additional data it contains so if you see here it has demand shlendi mardi mercury um, so all those things like uh, it's a weekday so if you see this column this is basically a preferred appointment day code right so like this it will give you various option set value as well whether it's a true false uh, or it's a day of the week uh, or various other 
uh, things as you see over here. So it's a nice bit of application through which if you want to generate the metadata, uh, you can generate using this application. So that's it folks. This is all about metadata document generator in the XRM toolbox. Thanks for watching.